If you sung or played on stage, you know that you need monitor speakers. You need something to be able to hear the sound back on the platform because all the sound from the house system is heading out to the congregation or the audience. Well, the problem with wedge monitors, which is what we've all used for 30 years, is that all of the sound from the wedge monitors, once it passes you, hits the back wall or the ceiling and bounces back out into the house. That creates a lot of uh, interference, it creates a lot of noise level, frankly, that makes it difficult for people out in the house to be able to hear. So, what happened is people started to create in-ear monitors or headphone monitor mixes. Now, headphone monitor mixes are great for the back line, for the bass player, for the drummer, for the keyboardist. But how do you get a mix that they can hear because now they're isolated from everything else? Well, the Aviom system is just the system for that. It allow, it's called a personal monitor mixer and it allows each of the musicians to create their own mix. So let me step you through how the Aviom A16 personal monitor system works. First of all, at the front of house, there is a rack, and at that rack, there is a piece of equipment that takes the outputs from the mixer, what are called usually sends, and runs it into a small box that converts it to a digital signal. That comes out on CAT5 to these little personal monitors. And what's on that is all the audio from those different channels that are being sent. It may be the drums, it may be the keyboard, it may be the bass, uh, lead vocal, piano, and the backup singers, and a couple of room microphones, because when you've got a headphone on, you can't hear what the congregation of the audience is singing or saying. So we put up a couple of microphones for room microphones. So let's take a look at that right here, and you'll see uh, there are the 16 channels, or 16 buttons right here, and they're labeled in this particular case, kick is on channel one, snare is on two, a couple of cymbals here, the couple of room mics, the bass, the guitar, a second guitar, the solo guitar, and then you've got an acoustic guitar and a slide, an organ, and a Wurlitzer, and then some effects. So all of those channels are available to the person at this location. All they simply do is if they want kick, and of course we all want kick to be able to keep up with the tempo of the music, we press that button. See how the LED lights? Once that LED is lit and we press that button, we simply come over here and adjust the volume control to how, whatever level we want the kick at. And because it's stereo, we can pan that left or right. So I can go ahead and put the kick all the way over to one side if I want. Then I select the snare, which is on channel two and I go ahead and raise that level, and I may want to pan that over to the right side. So I have kick on the left, and I have snare on the right. So that way I get a stereo mix, and I can make out those uh, two instruments. Cymbals, I simply press those, and in this case, we have a stereo pair, left and right. So because those are paired up, one volume control will control the volume of both of the channels. I raise or lower that and say, you know what, I don't need as much overhead cymbal. I really don't. I've got the snare and I've got the kick. I've got my tempo. I don't need that. So I drop that down in level, but I go ahead and keep it right in the middle. And then the room mic, I select those. Those are paired up. I may want just a lot of room mic. I need to hear what's going on with the congregation. Away we go. Same thing all the way down. The bass, I adjust that level guitar, I can set up my own personal mix. Now once this all happens, it memorizes that mix for you. And so you can come back to that mix, you can come back to those relative levels. Now during a performance or worship service, if I say on the next song, boy I need to have a little bit more lead singer, I simply select the singers and I bring them up and away I go. I have more level. If I need a little bit more bass on a particular song, I can make that adjustment without trying to wave back to the sound guy to go ahead and get his attention and try and say mix number four uh, up on, uh, on the kick bass. You know how that goes. It's really hard to communicate during a worship service or during a performance. So the A16 Avion monitor system allows me to go ahead and do that. So this is a perfect system for in-ear type monitors, headset monitors, and in fact it can be used for wedges because you can drive an amplifier or a powered speaker, just set up a powered speaker right on the floor, run it right out of here. There's a volume control, there's bass and treble control right here. Uh, so if you want to run a wedge off this, you can. Uh, you can run a, a number of these systems for as many people as you have on the band. And in fact, I've installed systems where we have what we call two universes. We have a backline system, so we have 16 channels for all the people that are doing backline rhythm. And then we have a frontline system for the backup singers, the lead vocalist, the guitar. So you can get as simple or complex as you want with this system, but the end result is the same. People hear what they want to hear in the proportions that they need to hear them so that they can produce even better music.
So it's the Aviom A16 monitor system.